welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is an additional, maybe an additional, um, like just a random video. Basically, um, I'm going to Verona tomorrow morning. I'm just about to pack. Um, and I've had loads of deliveries, I've ordered loads of stuff. So I'm going to Verona tomorrow and then I fly back and then I've got like four hours and then I'm flying to LA. And then I'm in LA for a couple of days and going to Palm Springs and then I'm going back to LA for a couple of days. Um, I'm going to Palm Springs for the Revolve Festival and then I am flying to Dallas for the Rewards Style Conference and then I'm flying back to LA and then I'm flying back home. So I've got a bit of a crazy like 10 days ahead. So I've like been desperately trying to plan outfits, I've like ordered so many things. Um, so I just thought, seems I will hit, I do like an unboxing with you guys. And then I've got this new stuff that I've already unboxed so I thought I'd just show you that too. Um, but you'll see everything I take because I'm going to do like a vlog and a lookbook for each thing. Um, and also the Revolve parcels are going to be at my hotel in Palm Springs when I get there. So what I'll do is maybe do like an unboxing of that when I get there. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go on too long. If you want to see me wearing any of these things, then make sure you just like follow me on Instagram. And also keep an eye out on this channel for the lookbooks because they will be up. Sorry about the lighting, it's like quite dark. Um... But yeah, I'm not going to do try on. I do not have time. It's midday already. I am packed. I'm procrastinating at its highest. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. But I just wanted to do this. So <laughs> I just enjoy it. Um, but anyway, yeah. So what I'm going to do is show you first, like, the additional things that I have. And then I'll show you, like, the things that I've just got posted. So the first thing is a shirt from Stories. I have this in stripes and I have it in white. And I love it so much. So I wanted to get in another size. Another colour, and I got this in size 36, size 10, um, and it's just like an oversized blue chambray shirt, but I thought it looked really cool with denim shorts, I like tied in a knot around the waist, so like open with a bikini, I just love like an oversized shirt, and these ones are so comfortable and soft, um, and I like, I adore my white one and my striped one, and I will be taking my white one with me. So another thing I've got is this dress, I'll put pictures in from like the websites maybe, if I can, um, there's this dress from Topshop, I got this for the closing party of the Reward Style Conference. So they always have a closing party, which is like really fun. Um, and it's like, I don't know why I'm saying they always, because I've never been, but I've stalked her on Instagram quite a few times. Um, but yeah, so anyway, they have like a party where everyone dresses up, and I thought this was like ideal, because um, it's like low front and back crossover, and then it's like black and white polka dot, but with like all different layers. It's really pretty, I'll put a picture in of it on the website, because uh, quite frankly, I'm not doing a good job. But that is beautiful, and I'm going to wear that in the evening for the party, so that's super cool. And then I got a cardigan as well from Other Stories. Um, this is like the same colour as jumper I'm wearing now, which I will link below. I think it's on sale actually for like £18, so yeah, I'll link that. Um, but I have a million cardigans, but I don't have one in this colour. And I think it's a beautiful colour, I got it in small, it's super soft, and just like, for summer I thought it would be really cute with summer dresses. Don't know if I'm going to take this, like it's on my rail of things I want to take but it really depends on space. I just bought a new suitcase too because my other suitcase is a medium so I definitely need a large. So another thing I got is this swimming costume which is from Beach Cafe and the brand Hunziji. I've seen their stuff so much it looks amazing. This looks incredible on and it's like this really nice like crinkled material like a classic white swimming costume low back. I mean, even if I don't go swimming, I just think this would look amazing with um, denim shorts. Just like high-waisted denim shorts and this, um, just as like a top. So yeah, I love that so much. Then I also got this top from Topshop. I don't know which way it goes around. Um, but it's basically just like an elasticated band with these really cute puffy like sleeves. Kind of like a gypsy peasant style blouse, not really sure. Um, but they also have it in white, which Lauren has. But I was like, there's no point in getting it because she's got it, but I really wanted it. So I got it in the blue, and I thought it would look really cute with like white jeans, or for Lon um, London, for America, with a little white skirt. Might be too hot in LA, but definitely for Dallas, um, very cute. Then another thing inspired by Lauren, I got this little cami, um, and it's from Michelin Lounge at ASOS. I love all of their stuff, it's so nice, like literally, it's just all like loungewear, but not like... I don't know, it's just like knitted, soft, comfy, casual pieces. And then it's just like a cream ribbed knitted cami and it's just like an essential for me. Then recently I've been sent so many pairs of shoes that honestly I don't know if I'm going to be able to take them all um, to American with me in my case because I need heels and stuff too. And I wanted to take like my Balenciaga boots and my Chloe boots for the Revolve Festival because I think that'll be really cool um, and just for general outfits. Um, but I got sent a couple of pairs of shoes from the brand Manebi. 
I think that's how you say it. They're sold in like Net-A-Porter and Farfetch and stuff and they're like Espadrille style shoes. Really love them. This is my favourite pair. Um, they are like just a classic Espadrille style and they're like rose gold and then they've got this like, I'm not calling it, they're rose gold and they've got this really nice kind of like pink and blue and green um, stitch detail on them. They're so nice and honestly these shoes are the comfiest shoes I have ever worn. They're like suede or leather on the inside so they're really soft. The other pair of shoes I've got from Millebi are these ones which are like kind of similar to my um, Supergas in a way. Um, but they've got like the same estrogidural sole and then this pink suede or nubuk, I'm not sure. But again, because of that, they're just so comfortable. And then they tie with a ribbon. And they do these in a couple of different colours. Um, I really like these. Like, I adore them. I'm quite tempted to take these instead of my supergas and then take my white supergas. Um, but I don't know if I would regret that. Um, so I need to try them on with my outfits just because I'm like... Literally, my supergas are like my safety blanket for when I don't know what to wear. But I do love these, and they are so comfortable. Like, I know I've said that a million times, but I honestly can't stress it enough. And then I got a two pairs of shoes from Topshop. I got a pair of flat sandals because I panicked and was like, "Do I have a pair of flat sandals?" I don't think I do, um, because I always wear them to death in summer, so they're like trashed by the end of summer. So each year I have to get a new pair. And then I was like, I probably won't wear them because I always wear supergas and stuff, but. I should probably have a pair just in case. Um, and this is really cool with jeans as well, so I know I'll wear them when I get back. And they're just like, they're really similar to a pair from The Row, um, which I'll link below so you can go and have a look at them. Um, and they do them in like the dark burgundy kind of style, and then in this pink style. And I really like the pink. Um, I wish they didn't have this black sole, but I don't think it's that bad. Um, and I was just like panic buying. But I think they're 22, yeah, they're 22 pounds. So they're not like super expensive. Um, and they look quite luxy, like I feel like you could probably wear them with like a maxi dress or like a midi skirt or something If you want to wear flats in the summer and you want to look fancy, I think you could wear these and they're like a Occasion flat if you know what I mean Okay, so I've literally lost a shoe for the next pair of shoes. I've got these from Topshop again I don't know where the other shoe is. I've honestly lost it um, But I got these because I thought they would look really cute for like LA and Palm Springs if I wanted to wear heels in the desert, but now I'm like, will I wear heels in the desert? Um, but I just think they're really cute as well for like um, Dallas if I want to feel smart, because I also like heels make me feel more smart. And they're like, just a real simple tan mule shoe. Very flattering because they've got this bit here, um, and they're kind of like, I don't know, they give me cowboy vibes even though they're not. Um, they haven't got like a Cuban heel or anything, but yeah, I just think they're really cute. And they're very soft again, and they are worth fish pounds. And I like this a lot. I did actually buy these new look set. Um, Topshop sent me these, and they sent me no, that's it. I think they just sent me this. They sent me some other things, but they're not in this. And all the other stuff I bought. Okay, so now I have some unboxings. What should I do first? I'm going to do the Gucci bag first. So I bought a new bag from Gucci. I know I said that I was going to try and not buy any new bags from the same for the wedding. Um, I have saved my deposit to a house, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, even though I haven't bought a house, but I'm kind of like not that bothered about actually buying a house. I just wanted to save the deposit beneath the house so I could know that I have that money for when I need to buy a house or when I want to buy a house. Um, and now I'm just going to sit back and wait for my dream house to like come up on the market. Um, but yeah, so I'm now saving for a wedding as well. But basically... I bought this bag with the money that I got from selling my old clothes, so I feel like it's okay, um, but yeah, I really loved it. My sister actually got a Gucci bag and I had major FOMO, and I, um, it, she's got a really cute one, I'll put a picture in actually if I can find one. It's like the mini, if not I'll link it below so you can have a look, it's like a mini Dionysus, but she wears it as a bum bag. So cool with like an all white outfit and I don't actually have anything in the Gucci print and I really wanted one and I've been looking at this bag for ages but you know when it's like, um, so it's in the standard collection at Gucci so I always knew I could buy it whenever I wanted whereas all the other bags I've got I've always been like one offs or like rare or like limited edition collections so I've always been like there's an urgency about buying it, whereas this has never been like an urgent purchase, but I've always loved it, and I just was like, do you know what, I'm gonna get that bag, finally. Um, so I'm hoping that there'll be room for me to take this to LA, like, I can definitely take it. Um, and also, because I was just like, this is an amazing trip, but I wanted to get something at the airport to say congratulations to myself for the fact that I'm going to Palm Springs with Revolve, 
and got invited to the Royal Style Dallas Conference. Like, it's insane. It's a career highlight for me. Both things are like major career goals. Like, they were the two top goals in my career I've had since I started blogging, if you can call that a career, I would. Um, and they were to work, go to a Revolve trip and to um, be invited to the Reward Style Conference. So, honestly, I just was like, such a great achievement. Wrote myself a little note saying, congratulations on everything. Have an amazing trip and remember how incredible you are, S. Um, I have actually opened this already, but it did come in the dust bag and it was all like done up. But I showed my boyfriend it today. Basically, what I'm trying to say before I got off on one is I wanted to treat myself to mark the occasion. I like marking occasions so I can have the item and look back on it almost like a photograph or something, but you can actually like wear it and use it. And um, yeah, I can't because I'm flying from Gatwick, so I was going to get something at Heathrow at the airport. So instead, I thought I'd get something that I could take with me. Which is this little bag which I adore. Um, this bit goes around the front. I, I really love this so much. I've been looking at it for ages and I'm so glad that I finally got it. It's um, I've got the classic Gucci print and then it's like a really big chunk of gold hardware which I adore. And it's got the Gucci sign here and then it's black leather. It's got this little leather tab that says Gucci on it and then on the side it's also tan. And then it's got this tan pocket here. And then it's got this gorgeous gold chain. I think gold chains really make a bag because they just like finish off an outfit. So you can have it short or you can have it long. Um, I'm sure you guys know that I'll probably be playing around with it with lots of other ways that I can wear it. Um, so you can enjoy that. Um, let me know if you want me to do a video like that, to be honest. I will do it, to be honest. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just excited and very stressed. Okay, so the inside is suede. I've got a bag with spade inside. Um, and then, what's this? Oh, how weird. It's got a little, just a little bit of the Gucci material in there. Um, and a little tag from Gucci. And a little pocket. So yeah, I'm not going to go on too much about that bag. It's not just that bag. I'll show you all the other stuff. But yeah, I love that so much. It's going to go with all my outfits. So... I'll be wearing that. I think I'm going to take that one to LA and then I'm going to take my other Gucci bag to wear as a bum bag and maybe my Chloe bag to wear as a bum bag. But I do feel like that's maybe OTT, too many bags. But and then I'm going to take a tote bag just to take a, on the flight. But I don't know if I need another big bag, like a bigger bag for general, but I, mm, I don't think I'm going to use it. Like I think maybe I'll just take my tote bag or like a big, oh, I might take my Urban Outfitter suede bag. I'll link it below so you can see which one I'm talking about. But it's like, um, just a grab bag, but it's quite big, so it will not take up much room in my case. If I want to take it as well as a, like a small bag, then I can put my camera and stuff in it. That's what I'm going to do. Now I've got this parcel from Misguided. Literally, this is a collaboration with them. Um, not like a proper collaboration, like a page or anything. Literally, I just, every month I send them a couple of products that I want, and they kindly send it to me, which is like amazing. Um, so first of all, I got a pair of shoes. Again, oh my God, I've got so many pairs of shoes that I was thinking I was gonna take. These are like the Chanel style shoes that I love, um, and I've been looking at these for so long, and I was like, do you know what, I'm gonna get them. Um, and I can't remember how much they were. I think they were definitely under 30 pounds, I think. Um, and they've got like a little elasticated thing here, so they'll be super comfy um, and perfect for like if you've got wide feet. Um, and yeah, I just thought they were really cute shoes, like you wear them with jeans and a simple top. Um, and also I thought it looked nice with dresses, maybe with that spotty one. Um, so yeah, I just thought they were a good shoe to have in general. Hoping to take it to, um, for Dallas, but to be honest, I'm probably going to find the pair of shoes that go with the best with all my outfits, so I don't have to take all of the shoes. Like I need to take minimal amount of shoes. Then I got a body, I remember exactly what I picked. I got this body, um, can you see? It's like ribbed material, um, and it's a long sleeved bardo. I don't think I'll be taking this to LA, just purely because it's not really, like, functional. It's gonna be really hot. Maybe I'll take it for Dallas. If I've got room, I might just put it in. Um, but I really liked this. I got it in a size 10, so I wanted it to be quite loose, um, not like skin tight. Um, and if I get an A, it will be skin tight. And then, this is something that I really wanted for ages. I'm definitely to take Dallas. Um, whoa, it's huge. What size did I get? Medium. So this is a men's shirt, but it's not. So it's like, Misguided have now brought out their own men's brand called Menace. And they did a collaboration on the women's site called 
misguided X menace or times menace. I never know if it's times or X. Um, and then I got this shirt. It's literally like a t uh, shirt dress. But I just really liked the fact that it was like a really nice wash. It's got the yellow stitching, which I love and always go on about. It's like majorly oversized. I can wear it as a dress. I can wear it undone as a jacket. I can tie it in a knot. I can tuck it in. I just think there's so many different ways to wear it. And I don't have an oversized light wash denim shirt. Then I got so much. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <gasps> okay, I put in an order to ASOS. And I honestly thought, this is the ASOS part for now, by the way. Um, I thought that I'd made two orders, but I obviously only made one. So the thing that I thought I was waiting with and wasn't going to come is here. And I'm so happy because they are perfect. So, four pair trousers, the matching trousers to the cami I showed you earlier for Michelin Lounge. Um, and they're size small and they're quite, they look a little bit like off white, but I think it's just the reflection of this jumper. And they're like wide leg knitted, oh, I'm just myself in the face, knitted trousers. And I wore one, I just think they'll make a really cute set for when I go to my classes. So I have to go to like classes and stuff um, at the, well not I have to, I want to. Like I can only go to three or four and I actually really want to go to all of them. Um, but with the Rewards Style Conference, I haven't really explained what it is. I'll talk about it more in my vlog because I'm doing a vlog. But basically there's lessons on like how to boost your SEO and stuff. And I am going to do a blog toast with the tips I learned. So don't worry if you're a blogger and you want to know, make sure check that out when I get back. Oh sorry, my camera just turned off, which means I've been blabbing for so long. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll talk about it all in my Dallas vlog, so check that out. But I wanted these, so I thought they'd be cute for the classrooms, because they also said, even though it's going to be hot in Dallas, it's going to be in a hotel for the majority of the events, and it's going to be like aircon. So she said it's actually really cold in the hotel sometimes, because they blast the aircon. And I thought these would be very chic for the flight. So glad I've got those. I need to try those on now. Don't just put fake tan on. And this dress is what I had planned to wear. I actually saw it on Lorna Lux's Instagram and literally five minutes after she posted it, I just purchased it. Um, I thought it would be really good for, we've got like this cocktail party that's like, so, so it's called a cocktail party and then like, they gave us a packing list, and the packing list is, like, happy hour attire. And I'm like, what is happy hour attire? I know, I just wear a little black dress. So it's, like, a sweetheart neckline, and it's kind of, like, off the shoulder. But I guess you could wear it on the shoulder if you wanted. Um, and then it's just, like, black linen-y material, mini dress, and it's got those little tortoiseshell buttons. And I'm going to just try and put pictures of the models online wearing them, because I'm not very good at showing you like this. But I just think it's a very cute dress. I think it's going to be perfect and I've got some little leopard heel like um, heels, leopard heel, leopard print heels that I thought would be really cute with this but I might end up going with black because black will go with everything so we'll have to see packing space wise and then I bought three pairs of shoes from ASOS because so I was freaking out guys about not having a pair of heels because basically I don't wear heels much so I've got my, I've got ones like the kitten heels and like mules and stuff, but they're not very high. Um, and I've got my Aquazura heels, which are gorgeous, but I didn't know if any of these vents are going to be on grass and I don't want to ruin them. And they're very expensive shoes, which means I don't wear them very often, which I know is ridiculous, but I just wanted to pair cheap, like black heels, or, like just normal black heels. Because in everyday life as well, it's just good to have a pair of black heels that like, I'm not going to wear my Aquasura heels to like go down into town when there's cobbles on my street. So anyway, I don't need to explain myself <laughs> to my shoe addiction. So the first pair I got, oh, I'm only going to keep one pair of these guys. And these are like just a real simple black pair with a square toe. And they've got a strap around their ankle and around the toe. Mm, I'm not overly keen on these. I do think that they're a good like staple to have, but I don't know if they're going to look good with that dress because of where they cut off. But we'll see. Then the next pair. Um, are these are really cool, but again, I don't know if they're going to go with that dress. These are really cool though. They're like little cowboy buckle boot shoes. They've got like little cowboy buckles studded they're really cute but again i don't know if they're gonna go that dress is this a fail if not i could just wear my kitten heels with the dress i've got some really cute kitten heels like dior jeep style and these ones are from boohoo but at asos 
Oh, these might be the winners. I think these look like the most appropriate. But again, they've still got the ankle strap. Why did I not think this through? So they're like uh, plain black and then they've got two little, two, three, can't count, um, straps on them. They're very cute. But again, not sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you want to see what I keep and what I wear, make sure you follow uh, me on Instagram and also check out, subscribe to my channel and check out my vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to stop blabbering now. I need to try this stuff on and I need to pack. But in reality, I'm going to go and bring my mum for a coffee and then stress about the fact that I haven't packed because that is what I do. I'm a procrastinator. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for all of my American content. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me while I'm in America. I'm going to do a vlog and lookbook type thing for Verona, the same for LA and the same for Dallas. Um, so I can show you like all of the Revolve Festival stuff. If you want to see me do like a Revolve haul whilst I'm there, let me know. If you want me to do like a haul when I get back of anything I bought, let me know. If you want me to do like a QA and a or anything about it, let me know. Um, yeah, just whatever you want to see, like, just a comment, because I read all the comments, and I like to hear, like, what you guys want to see, and I always try and do it, so yeah. I'm going to go now, but thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!